sit by myself Talking to the moon It's like, yo, like, yo. How's that flow, Montana? Oh. Uh. Talking to the moon It's like, yo, like, yo. How's that flow, Montana? What's up, everybody? Good morning. Happy Saturday. Welcome to the weekend. Welcome to my page. Thank you for tuning in. As I tap into the messages and see what's going on in the spiritual skies. <laughs> I hope everyone is having a good weekend so far. Every message will not be your message, so remember that you have to take them as they resonate. Okay? Just because I call Aquarius, just because you are an Aquarius doesn't mean it's you, okay? If I call Scorpio, just because I say Scorpio, if it's not resonating or your message, please remember not to take it personal, okay? Career. Love. Lighten your load and freedom. So with these four cards right here, career being the first card out, Career, love, light, and low, and freedom changes, okay? Like renewal, okay? New career, love, like something being made easy, something being smoothed out for you. Could be changing careers, okay? Could be a new venture in love with someone, but you're being set free, okay? Maybe this was something that you was missing in your life, okay? Maybe you wanted a career change. Maybe you wanted uh, new love in your life. Maybe you feel like the load is too heavy and it needs to be lightened. Well, whatever, you know, with the freedom card out, you're about to be set free in those areas here. So if you've been worrying or struggling or about finances, uh, your job, you know, you don't know where to go from here. You're being set free from that. Some type of opportunity, some type of door is going to open for you in your love life. Um, if that's been a negative for you, it's getting ready to be a positive. Maybe you feel like love never works for you. You know, things never work out in your favor. Maybe you feel like things have been too hard for you. Okay, but things are about to be made easy. Okay, you're about to break some type of barrier, whatever's been keeping you blocked, whatever's been keeping you stuck, held back in these areas, you're about to receive some type of release, okay? See, we got peace, okay? So maybe you've been feeling a lot of pressure, okay? A lot of pressure, a lot of anxiety. You've been worrying, you know, worrying, wondering what's going to happen next, okay? But whatever's going on, it's like something's getting ready to show up for you and make your world a lot easier than what it has been, okay? We got friendships, new beginnings. Yeah, there's some type of new beginning headed in your direction for whoever this is resonated for. Like new beginning, new friendships. Like it's a new life for somebody. Okay, somebody's been praying for peace. Somebody's been praying for a redo, like a do-over. That's what I'm hearing. Like somebody wanted a do-over. 
and somebody's wishes is actually being granted. Okay, we got family out here. We got travel. You could be travel, going to see family. You know, yeah, it's like some type of renewal. And then we got answers here. Answers and manifestation. Like, okay, somebody, like I said, somebody's been praying for changes. Somebody has been praying for something different than what they were used to. Okay? And with fertility and courage, I feel like you've had, how, how can I explain this? You were impregnated with courage. You know what I mean? It's like you were filled with this strength because it took a lot to carry you. You understand? To this part, this part right here. Okay? Because with the world on this person's back, okay, you were carrying a lot. There was a lot of heavy pressures on your shoulder okay a lot to do with your finances a lot to do with your love life a lot of inner it was a lot of inner um inner turmoil i would say you felt stuck you felt like you was trapped like you couldn't get out okay boundaries and truth right you felt like Something was keeping you held back. And the boundaries card here with truth is representing the fact that whatever truth that you got, okay, whatever truth that you received and whatever this was you being set free from, you set new boundaries, okay? And these new boundaries that you set, these answers that you received, this is what's stepping you into this new beginning. You understand? It's like this fight gave you a different kind of strength. It, it left you with a different type of power. So now you ready to step into that next phase. Okay? That's why your load is being lightened. Because you carry so many burdens. You know, you carry the weight of the world in your own life, in your own story. You understand? Okay? And now you're getting ready to experience that peace that you've been praying for, that you've been trying to manifest. You understand? That dream career, that, you know, something that you always wanted to do, something you always wanted to step into. It's like the doors to that is opening for you, okay? The type of relationship you always wanted to have with someone in your love life. It's like coming out of this phase, coming out of this battle and showing the strength that you shown, okay, and maintain. Because this was a battle, okay? The weight of the world, that's that's a heavy load to carry. And however you were carrying that, you managed to carry that shit till you got to the part where now you deserve to be set free. You understand? Now you deserve the peace from that. The rewards, you understand? See what I mean? Willpower, good luck. It's like your fight earned you your stripes, you understand? And now you you get to reap the rewards from everything that it took, right? Inspiration, strength, okay? Your fight has made you an inspiration to others who that have watched you, okay? Your, your strength, it's like it didn't go unnoticed. Okay, physically or spiritually. It's like even when you thought no one was watching, it's like everybody was waiting. <laughs> you know what I mean? To see if you were going to make it, if you had what it took to get through this phase and you did. And now they sitting back like, oh shit. Okay, now they want your forgiveness because they see you in all this happiness. 
okay? But those that watch you through your struggle knows that this is your justice. These blessings that you're receiving, this is your justice showing up for you, all right? Whoever you are, you got this form of protection, okay? It's like you protect it. Didn't I tell you these blessings are your rewards, okay? From coming out of battle, you understand? From showing strength while you were in the battle, okay? You didn't fall, you didn't break, and now it's like, you know, the saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That's what's going on here. Like, whoever you are, you stepping into your life purpose. You received the clarity that you needed. I listen, you passed the test, okay? Whoever story this is, you passed the test. That's what this shit is here. And there's honor that comes with that. There's right. You you remain confident. Okay? There's some type of reconciliation. Reconciliation spirit, guys. I feel like you've become one with yourself again. You've connected to your spiritual team again. Okay? That's what's setting you free. Your connection to source, right? The fact that you trust it, okay? And the most high, you see that? Spirit guides, trust, reconciliation. You remember who to go to when you go through, you know what I mean? And with that, I'm telling you, you, you made it to your victory. Your faith has set you free. Your faith has made you whole. Is what I'm saying. Okay. Grieving. Yeah. You could have grieved a lot. You lost a lot. A lot of money. You grieved a lot. You've lost a lot of people. Okay. You've lost a lot of love in your life. Okay. You could have been going through cycle and cycle, job after job, losing jobs. You know, trying to make enemies, just really going through and through. I mean, life was really taking you through. That You felt like you had the world on your back. And it was painful. This grieving, it was painful. But you remain and you maintain, okay? There's a lot that went on in a home situation. A lot you found out about a home situation. Okay. Yeah, something was affecting your well-being in a home situation. And if you didn't receive the closure yet, you're about to. Some of you could have already received this closure. But something happened in a home that has something that it affected you. And you know what this is. But if you have it, you're about to receive some type of closure on the situation here. A new romantic cycle begins. Take time to breathe. See what I mean? So you see love. Okay, take time to breathe. Like you could have been under a lot of pressure. Like I said, worry. You were going through the most lately. And now it's time for you to take time out for yourself and come back. You know what I mean? After the war, you rest after the war. So whatever this war is that you coming up out of, 
you're going to have the chance to take the time out for you. It's not going to be stressful. It's not going to be constant pressure. It's not going to be you constantly worrying about finances, about um, how to do this, how to do that. I need this. I need that. It's not going to be that. You're actually going to be able to one day at a time, one step at a time. Okay. And it says a new romantic cycle is coming. Okay. So we did have the love card, the second card that came out. So whether you're ready or not, it's like somebody is getting ready to show up in your life. Okay. Yeah, a new start. I'm telling you, somebody has earned themselves a new beginning here. Somebody has earned themselves a new beginning. It's like the war has been won, the victory has been won, and now because of everything that you have been through, you get a fresh start, okay? And this fresh start has a way better beginning than the other one. You understand? Things are actually going to fall in place this time. Don't let your past hold you back, okay? There are going to be people... There are going to be things that show up that try to pull you back in. Now that you've elevated to here, to this point, there are going to be people that say, I remember you. I remember when such and such and such. And you know what I mean? It's like, well, that, that was then. This is now. Okay? Don't let the past hold you back. Don't let it hold you back. Don't let it pull you back in. After everything that you've accomplished, everything that you've came through, you understand? The answers you need are coming. Like I said, this can have everything to do with this home situation. So maybe you didn't receive the closure yet on something that happened in a home situation. And that news is on the way to you. But yeah, the answers you need are coming. There's something that you don't know. There's some news that you're going to receive about something that was going on with you it was affecting you okay you know what i'm talking about here it could have everything to do with a gemini communication is key the answers you need is coming okay listen this has everything to do with a gemini this home situation and finding it's like this gemini knows something that happened behind closed doors and whoever you are in the collective, it has everything to do with you, okay? And maybe you're not aware of it, but you're going to find out about this, okay? And it says the answers you need are coming. You're going to find out why this happened, why this person did this to you. Yeah, that's Gemini out double. Look at that. The communication is key. Look at this twice okay this has everything to do with what i said about that home situation yeah this person knows about something nothing yet is set in stone be bold and make the first move it's like this person doesn't know how to approach the situation, okay? Nothing yet is set in stone. They don't know how to approach is what I feel. I feel like this person doesn't know how to approach because they don't know what, what finding, what they tell you. They don't know how you're going to take it, okay? Be bold and make the first move. This person, I feel this person is trying to, to gain up enough nerve okay to tell you about something that happened okay and a home situation involving you yeah this person wants to give you bring you some type of closure all right somebody's like keep digging what's it about <laughs> A time for healing. Okay, whatever this is. <sighs> the 
you're going to have to heal from this. Okay. This is why this person doesn't know how to approach you because I feel like it's going to be something painful. See, we got a fiery climax approaches. So a fight could actually break out from whatever this news is this person wants to tell you. Um, remember that you are good enough. Okay. So something is asking you not to lose hope in you, within yourself, not to lose confidence. It says work through your fears. Whatever this is, this person is trying to find a way. A, a Scorpio could be involved. A Taurus, a Virgo could be involved. Could know what this is about here. We got cancer. A personal issue reaches reaches resolution here. So you flip the signs where they need to go if this fits your story. Yeah, but we got strong Taurus energy. But we also got double Libra out here, okay? Something is being balanced out. Okay, a win-win outcome is forecast. So something is going to be brought into balance here. Yeah, some type of information is being held back. Like all these beautiful things are going to happen. These are all beautiful blessings happening in someone's energy. But there is hidden information of a certain situation here. Okay. Strong Gemini energy. But I feel like there are others that are connected. There are others that know what this is about. Okay, it's time to take action. Somebody feels like, you know what? Enough of all this contemplating, you know, how we should do this. What should we, what, what should we say? You know, somebody just wants to say, look, straight up, this is what it is. Okay, this is what happens. Somebody's just in that type of energy. Okay. It says nothing will come of this situation. So it's like the problem is the fact that these people are just holding this back. Okay. Everybody's living in fear and not the faith of confrontation here. Okay. Yeah, instead of dealing with it, they're in the fear of if they deal with whatever this is. Like, this has got to be pretty, pretty bad. Like I said, a fight could end up breaking out. So maybe that's what they're afraid of is, is the drama. The what could come of you know, coming out with whatever this is they're holding, all right? Emotions are running high, okay? The tough, the end of a tough cycle approaches. So yeah, whatever this is, this is hard to deal with. This is hard. This is something that these people feel are hard to bring to the table. They don't feel like this is something that can be easily dealt with, easily spoken about, but they know that some type of closure, they know you deserve some type of closure from whatever this is. Okay. But however this goes, you end up on top of the situation here. Like I said, we have a new romantic cycle begins. A win-win outcome, outcome is forecast. And do, we do have reconciliation right up under that. So something is going to bring uh, someone back together okay this could make or break a situation i'm going to say that i see that but whatever this is is weighing on the people that know what's going on is weighing on them heavy okay emotions are running high the end of a tough cycle okay a fiery climax approaches it's like yeah this could get ugly this could get ugly, whatever this is, but whatever you are doing, whatever you have been investing in, your hard work is paying off from whatever it is that you've been giving yourself to, investing in and working hard on. It's like your, your life is falling into place, but there's something, there's just 
something important connected to this that has to be um, set straight. Something that still needs to be tweaked, okay? Look at the bigger picture. See, you're being asked to, to look at whatever this is that's about to show up, to look at it deeply, okay? And with that arrow and that moon, I feel like this can this can really, it can really be piercing. It can really, it's full moon and Sagittarius, but I feel like that arrow, this could really hurt. You know what I mean? This could really be something that knocks the wind out of you. All right. Remember, we did have a time for healing. I feel like whatever this is, you won't be the only one that has to heal from this because whatever these people know, it's bothering them without you knowing so i can just imagine when it really surfaces and comes to a head that you know everybody's gonna have to take something from this okay see luck is on your side it's like see they with luck being on your side like these people had to do something to wrong you in some type of way Okay, yeah. They did something that they know you would be pissed off about. Boundaries. Something to do with in your in a home, in your home here. Mm hmm They did something that they know you would be really upset to know. All right. But there's going to be closure from whatever this is. But outside of that, okay, looking beyond the veil, things are looking prosperous. Things are looking very positive for someone, okay? So whoever reading this is, I wish you the best. Congratulations to you. Um, it's like you completed these cycles and you've completed them successfully. It's like you you connected. It's like it brought you home to yourself spiritually. You remember to connect to your spiritual team okay you know whatever load you were carrying you remember to not leave your spiritual team out okay you stayed strong you kept the faith and you put up a good fight and your justice is your blessings okay and that's a beautiful victory okay somebody like I said, earn themselves a new beginning, a do-over, okay? Because you decided to do the right thing, okay? You decided to not give in and not give up. And now you get to level up for that, okay? And that's the message. I hope it helped. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, stay blessed, stay safe, stay positive, and enjoy your weekend. Later. Sit by myself. Talking to them It's like yo, like, yo. How's that flow Montana? Oh. Uh. Talking to them It's like yo, like, yo. How's that flow Montana?